another issue. Cryptocurrency talk, right? Another issue. When major corporations, when major corporations are working with blockchains and distributed ledger technology, I mean, that should at least make you wonder and ask why why are major corporations getting involved with blockchain distributed ledger hyper ledger why When you reduce it to gambling, when you reduce this this technology to something small as gambling, you could easily say life is a gamble, life is a risk, But the risks vary in degrees. There are levels to risk. There are levels to risk. Sorry. Currently, I'm focusing on. What are the top five crypto and not tether? Uh, forget about the stable coins. What are the top five cryptos of the world projecting or what are they developing on? What are they doing? Why are they the top five? But folks are grabbing crumbs. Folks are reaching to grab crumbs. They're reaching for stuff that just... Because they feel like they missed the boat. They feel like they missed the Bitcoin boat. They feel like they missed the Ethereum boat. Some of these projects that have come within the last two years promise so much and are delivering so little. But Bitcoin is still moving. Ethereum is still moving. When you have companies that are using those blockchains, however they see fit to identify a need and to solve certain problems, those are visible signs to tell you if you're involved with cryptocurrency to pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention. I don't, you know, there are people who are misguided in the space because they'll tell you something that sounds so relevant so clear on on youtube about what they believe decentralization means transparency and and then in another breath same sitting will tell you about something else they're doing to trust people 
like what I'm saying is the blockchain technology is a record that can be accessed the blockchain the ledger is a record that could be accessed by anyone who desires to access it across the world and especially if this blockchain is not run is not ran by any central authority it helps to eliminate trusting people and in the same breath somebody says changes up and says well it's important to have trust in people you could say you could see right there there's a disconnect in that in in those statements you could see right there that people are not really understanding what they're preaching or what they're trying to teach or the messages that they're delivering to their audience if your message and your actions are not aligned then you have an imbalance there's a disconnect and the people who are viewing for the first time need to be aware of that and need to unplug from those types of individuals because those individuals are not balanced those individuals do not have their information together and they will cause confusion and they will bring it's almost like more problems will be created than solved read articles people follow the news in 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 relative to this to this topic that I'm talking about with blockchain technology follow the news when you're talking about DLTs follow the news when you're talking about machine learning deep learning follow read the articles when you're talking about real AI follow the news when and read the information and and, and take the time out to study when you talk when you hear things about institutions that are paying attention to the tech to the space to what's going on people are just worried about price action and and getting and trying to make a dollar a day a dollar a day $15 a day you're crying cuz you're not getting like think about what, what where where my goodness think big think greater so that you can be rewarded you can re- reap substantial gains because you're thinking greater you're thinking bigger and you're reducing your amount of risk and not gambling your hard earned you know in an unfavorable way People wake up, man. You know what's what what crypto is doing is is leveling it's sort of leveling things out, leveling the game. giving the people a chance to rise up in a subjective way 
but also in a universal way to the likes of those who have been in control and in power for a very, very long time. Why are you wasting your time gambling? Why are you wasting your time on camera talking about things that are insignificant in the grand scheme of things that have no real value in the grand scheme of things? Why are you wasting your viewers' time talking about stuff you clearly know nothing about? And this is a video, once again, when I'm direct, I'm direct. This is a video with a message that's, I'm just casting a net out there, you know. I'm casting a net to just try to help people understand certain things. If they take away this YouTube channel from me and I continue to do this work, I will remain conscious enough to understand that I have to be consistent wherever I decide to go. However, whatever platform I decide to use to do my work, many people in cryptocurrency are not consistent. This is why you have to be careful as a new person coming into cryptocurrency. There are those who all they do is follow the wind. All they do is wait to be paid and then they talk about whatever it is that they're getting paid to talk about. And that's it. They're not there to be your friend. They're not there to really educate you. They're there to make money in those ways. And that's part of the game. Whatever. And you can see that's part of the game because if you look at their history it shows you think companies like Bact companies like Circle companies like Fidelity are going to reach out to a marketer who promotes scams Or who's had the history of promote, promoting projects that have scammed, that have exit scammed. What did the lady from OneCoin leave with? Four billion dollars of the people's money? You think Fidelity wants to deal with somebody like the lady from OneCoin? You think back to wants to deal with somebody like whoever anonymous characters who ran BitConnect whatever man like in the real world Like, if you look at casinos, big business, gambling, big business, <laughs> gambling addiction, substance abuse, all these things that have a certain level of avarice towards them, you know, huge business on many levels, right? But they, they are a category, they are a category among other aspects of business that can bring interests, rewards, success as well, not just gambling.
the growing pains in crypto is uh is real and it's also existential um Because crypto can exist without a community. It can exist, but it can't necessarily work without a community. So you have different factors that have to work hand in hand. But you have a, if you have a community of people who just want to live in a profane way, mass adoption is taking place. Mass adoption is taking place behind the scenes. Just because you don't see it on YouTube, just because you don't see it on your phone or your tablet or whatever you're using, doesn't mean it's not taking place. Now, which part of that wave do you want to participate in? That's all.